Rumor has it that more than 2,000 years ago, a meteorite fell from the sky and struck Mount Hukwu. The ancient beast Tao Tai was born with the green light in the sky. They eat people on sight to fill the belly of the beast king. When the beast king is full, he will breed endlessly. If Tao Tai crosses the Great Wall and invades Bian Liang, the two million people in the city will become Tao Tai's food. The emperor ordered the guards to fight to the death at the Great Wall to resist these beasts. However, this day under the Great Wall but ushered in two uninvited guests. The guards also found a broken arm of Tao Tai on them. They lied that they were merchants passing through, but the attent of Lin may recognize them. It turns out they are European mercenaries. Since the Chinese made black powder, they were invincible on the battlefield. Europeans have always wanted to steal the gunpowder formula, so they came to China to get rich from the black powder. Unexpectedly, they were attacked by Tao Tai. Except for the two of them, everyone else was killed, but they also cut off one of Tao Tai's arms. However, in the daytime, they were chased by the chitin. They had no choice but to flee to the foot of the Great Wall. When Lin Mei was about to execute them, he was stopped by General Xiao because William said that he was the one who cut off the broken arm. No ordinary man could have killed Tao Tai, let alone cut off his arm. General Xiao decided to take them to prison first to clarify the situation. However, at this time, Peng Yong could not find the key to the prison. At the same time, millions of Tao Tai outside the city suddenly came to attack. The soldiers could only press them to the city wall to guard them first, and they were in a daze. What, in the end, can make such a strong Eastern Army also so afraid? The shadowless army in the play reflects the power of the Eastern Army. They use five animals as their symbols. The flying locks in blue armor are crane troop. The bow and arrow troops in red armor are the eagle troop. The yellow armored artillery unit is the tiger troop. The unit in black armor is bear troop. The cavalry unit in purple armor is deer troop. Such a well-equipped army had little chance of winning in the face of Tao Tai's attack. It's a big wall to be so nervous. The words just fell. The dense Tao Tai like a tidal wave. Accompanied by the rousing drums, the tiger troop ignited fireballs to attack from afar. The eagle troop followed closely behind, shooting thousands of arrows. Under the powerful attack, the Tao Tai did not have a trace of timidity. Seeing they were approaching the foot of the Great Wall, the crane troop finally stepped in. Even though they were all women, their role was not to be underestimated. With their light bodies and ropes, they could hold Tao Tai back from attacking the wall. At this time, a Tao Tai army came in the distance. The Beast King was attacking. With General Xiao's command, countless fireballs with barbed wires were directed at the Tao Tai leader. Unexpectedly, its guard's defense was so high that they were unharmed after a wave of damage. Then the feathers on top of its head twitched, and the Tao Tai army seemed to get tactics. They were no longer rampaging and fighting individually but cooperating to build the ladders for attacking the city. Sure enough, they attacked the walls in no time. At this point, William and Bouchard, who were tied up, were panicking. They tricked the soldier Peng Yong, guarding them, and then let Ballard untie the rope. They wanted to run away and leave this hellhole, but William saw Peng Yong was in danger and decided to save him. However, the Tao Tai beast is so fierce that ordinary attacks cannot kill it. Its only fatal weakness is the eye under the armpit. William used his spear to hold Tao Tai and then killed it with the help of Bouchard. The beasts outside were still coming in. Millions of Tao Tai attacked the Great Wall to eat the two million people in Bien Leon. Faced with the Tao Tai beasts attacking the wall, William was calm. He asked Bouchard to hold up a red cloth to block Tao Tai's view while he aimed his bow and arrow at Tao Tai's eyes under his armpit. After they killed Tao Tai on the wall, something strange happened. The countless Tao Tai army retreated. They were preparing for a bigger conspiracy. After this incident, the two foreigners became heroes defending the Great Wall. Instead of being locked up in a dark cell, they became guests of honor at a banquet. The leader of the Eagle Troop asked why William used this broken bow. William, however, said that this bow was incomparable. This caused much laughter. General Xiao asked William to show the bow. William was very reluctant, but in this situation, there was nothing he could do. Bouchard threw out the bowl and fired three arrows, one after another. The audience applauded his skillful archery. At night, Ballard invited them to discuss the escape plan. It turned out that Ballard had been locked up here for 25 years. He had already obtained the black powder. Now he was looking for an opportunity to escape. And Tao Tai's arrival was the opportunity to escape. They agreed to escape together the next time Tao Tai attacked. However, at that moment, the soldiers of the West Arrow Tower were suddenly attacked. When General Xiao arrived, he found that Tao Tai had not taken away the bodies. At this point, 
They felt bad and immediately formed up to defend. Not far away, a Tao Tai was approaching. However, as the team slowly moved forward, General Shao saw a Tao Tai behind him through the reflection of his sword. He and Lin Mei slowly took out their weapons and prepared to take them by surprise. Although they killed it with one blow, the powerful inertia made the Tao Tai rush forward. General Shao chose to sacrifice himself to save Lin Mei. After the funeral of General Shao, Shan, the special envoy of the Privy Council, came to assist. He especially brought historical materials from Bianlian. According to history, Tao Tai lost their sense of hearing when they were near the magnet. When they can't hear the Beast King's command, they will be still and let people slaughter them. But this is only an ancient conjecture to verify the need to catch a Tao Tai to experiment. But how to catch the huge monster became the biggest problem. William wanted to use the whaling method to catch Tao Tai. This immediately aroused Bouchard's discontent. Because Tao Tai attacked, they were ready to escape. Now all the plans are disrupted by William, but Bouchard did not abandon William for this reason. The time came the next day. They coated the crossbow with anesthetic in preparation for the capture, but when they shot Tao Tai and were about to pull back, they helped each other to break free from the chains. Now there is only one chain left to hold Tao Tai. Just as the group was about to pull it up, William told them to wait until the anesthetic took effect. Although the drug worked, but the chain still cannot support the imminent breakage. At that moment, William leaped from the wall. He wanted to reattach the chain to Tao Tai. Just as he was about to go up, the nearby Tao Tai attacked him. At the critical moment, Bouchard came to his rescue. Although they are very powerful, they are no match for Tao Tai. Lin Mei also brought out black gunpowder at this time. She arranged for her men to prepare gunpowder arrows. Under the cover of powerful artillery fire, Tao Tai was instantly blasted into ashes. They finally saw the power of black powder in the east. After catching Tao Tai and experimenting, it was just as described in the history books. When the magnets came close, they were still. However, this time the envoy wanted to bring it back to Bian Liang to claim the credit. Little did they know that this would bring Bian Liang to its doom. As expected, they soon discovered the anomaly. Tao Tai had dug through the mountain. It turns out that their previous attack was a feint. The purpose is to give them cover to dig a secret passage. On the other hand, Ballard and Bouchard were ready to escape. William saw this and ran over to stop them. During his stay at the Great Wall, William saw why the Eastern Army was so powerful. Because they all have faith like steel. William thus found the meaning of fighting. He decided to stay and help them fight against Tao Tai. But Bouchard didn't see it that way. He took the opportunity to knock William out and then escaped with Ballard. He didn't expect this Ballard to be a sly guy too. He faked his way out of Bouchard and escaped with all his stuff. When William wakes up, he is treated like a thief. Luckily, Peng Yong is willing to testify for him. Lin Mei has no choice but to put him in jail first. Because they have more important things to do now. Tao Tai has crossed the Great Wall and will reach Bianlian tomorrow. While the cavalry will take two days to arrive at the earliest. This is when strategist Wang proposes to bring out their latest invention so they can arrive at Bianlian ahead of Tao Tai's arrival. This new invention was the prototype of the hot air balloon. But now is still extremely unstable. The slightest inadvertence will fall to his death. Lin Mei ordered Peng Yong to release William when he was leaving. Now that the disaster is coming, there is no point in fighting between nations. William thought twice and decided to join the battle with strategist Wang. On the other hand, the envoy is showing off the results of his research with the emperor. However, when he was measuring the limit of the distance that the magnet could affect Tao Tai, he was knocked away by Tao Tai, who suddenly woke up, and the magnet rolled to the side. At this point Tao Tai issued a command to the King of Beasts, although the envoy threw the magnet at first, it was too late. Now millions of Tao Tai troops are coming in a big way. By the time Lin Mei arrived by balloon, Bianliang had already become a slaughterhouse for Tao Tai. Faced with the continuous attack of Tao Tai, Lin Mei was also forced to jump out of the hot air balloon. But how could she resist so many monsters? Just as she was surrounded and her life was hanging by a thread, a familiar voice came from afar. It was William and strategist Wang. Lin Mei leaped onto the hot air balloon with the elasticity of the lance. At this point, Peng Yang ignited the explosives and handed them to Lin Mei. Tao Tai, who was pursuing them, was instantly blown to smithereens. On their way to the palace, they found the Beast King feeding. This was his weakest moment. Just as they were about to attack, the balloon hit the palace's roof and fell. The group went to the palace to meet with Emperor. The Emperor was already shivering under the dragon chair in fear. At that moment, 
Strategist Wang asks about the whereabouts of the captured Tao Tai, which he wants to use to kill the King of Beasts. Only by killing the King of Beasts the connection between the Tao Tai will be broken, and the Tao Tai will freeze. Strategist Wang strapped the captured Tao Tai with explosives. Then he prepares to feed it and send it to the King of Beasts, but just as they were transporting the Tao Tai, they were attacked. Although Peng Yong was lucky enough to be saved by William, he was seriously injured and couldn't move. Several Tao Tais rushed into the underground passage as they were about to move on. Peng Yong, to cover them, chose to ignite the explosives on his body and Tao Tai to die together. They followed the underground passage to the door near the Beast King, strategist Wang, with a magnet, slowly away from Tao Tai. Tao Tai woke up and did not attack them, after eating the food before him. He went to the King of Beasts to contribute food. Strategist Wang took the magnet and guarded the first floor to stop Tao Tai from rushing in. William and Lin Mei went to the second floor and prepared to detonate the explosives with their bows and arrows. Unexpectedly, the arrow was bounced off the Beast King's guards. The attacked Beast King ordered its men to attack the tower. Strategist Wang also died as a result. At the last moment, he threw the magnet up. They came to the top floor and shot another arrow, but it was still blocked by the escort and the Beast King also found their position. All Tao Tai instantly climbed the whole tower. At the last moment, William and Lin may cooperate. William threw a magnet to restrain the escort. Lin may threw out a lance with explosives. In an instant, the King of Beasts was blown to smithereens. After the death of the Beast King, millions of Tao Tais instantly disintegrated. So many Tao Tai corpses, if roasted and eaten, I do not know how long to eat. The movie is over, subscribe to my channel. We will see you next time.